Hey, Eddie. Can I give you one of these? How you doing? I don't want that. What's the message? You don't want this? No. Well, it's right here. Eddie, it's about Eddie. Texas. You tell me. How there's 60,000 pastors in Texas. 30,000. The Church of Christ, Jesus Christ. We're part of the Bride of Christ. What's, so. what's your local body? Well, we are the local body. So we, we have a home church. Okay? Where is it? In uh, Little Elm. Little Elm? Uh -huh. Which one is it? It's it's our home. We actually have a home church. Like we do homeschool. So you don't have elders? Or yeah, we have elders. Who's your, who's your pastor? Uh, we have a couple guys that kind of act as you pastors. Don't have a pastor? Yeah, we have pastors. People who pastor? Yes. No, no, no. Yes. Who's the pastor? We don't have a 501c3 organization like you do at yeah. all. But, so, but you, you guys are like preaching to the choir about abortion. No, we're not. We're preaching to a and, 501c3 organization, a corporate organization. Yeah. That's what we're preaching to. No. And here's the thing, you guys aren't you guys aren't, you guys aren't accountable to any elders. That's not true. Who, who are you That's not true. To? I'm accountable to a bunch of people. I'm accountable to um, Larry here. I'm a, accountable to Matt. What's Larry? Um, hey, how are you? Good. What, what's I, Larry's position? Well, he, he's elder than most everybody else in our group. He's an ordained hey, elder. You you take him, you ordained by who? What the pope? Church. What pope? The po what pope? Are you an elder? The pastor. Are you an elder? Are you, no, 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 wait. You just said your pastor is your pastor. pope. No, you said that. No, I said. I said. You, no. you know what you just did? I said. No, no, no. You know what you just who did? Who ordains you know what you your elders? No, no, who no, ordains you your elders? I said Pope, and you said that. That's that right there is poor argumentation, and your argumentation is horrible. No, it's not because look, we're actually following you, and doing what the Bible says. Did you not just say that I? You asked me who my Pope was. Yeah, I asked you who your Pope was, and you said your pastor. Hey, I'm Semper from Mondo. Do you know what that means? Wait, what did you say? Semper from Mondo. Do you know what that means? No, tell me what it means. You don't even know what Semper Reformando is. No. And you're talking about the Pope. Well, your argumentation is horrible. All right, so why don't you read our argumentation? I know your argumentation. What is it? That's why I came out to what tell is it? you. How many abortions you, happen every year in Texas? How many years? Do you know Semper Reformando? Hey, how many? Look, we have master's degrees in uh, seminaries, okay? So, so, so you, and he you knows. Don't even know what he knows. Is? So what? I'm just a follower of Jesus Christ. I don't have to know all no, your terms. No, you're not. You know why? Because, why? Because you're not accountable how, how, to anybody. That's you can not come true. out here that's not true. and hold up signs that's not true. and you're not accountable to that's anybody. That's not true. You're, you're, you're accountable to Larry Elder here? Yeah. 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 And that's Matt true. and... What's uh, the name of the church? The Bride of Christ. The Bride of Christ? Uh -huh. so, so the global church? Does that include our church? The local church, too. Does it include anybody, our church? Anybody, that's a, follower, anybody that's a follower? Anybody that's a follower of Jesus Christ? Our church. What's that? I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. Okay. So are you part of the Bride of Christ? So Of course. Okay. So, so tell me this. Uh -huh. Are you then my brother in Christ? Well, if you're a follower of Jesus Christ, then yes. Okay, then why are you out protesting me and your fellow brothers in Christ? We're not protesting you. Yes, we're you saying are. we look are saying. This, listen, look at this methodology. Anybody yeah. here knows no. that this is a protest. No, listen. How many abortions happen every year in Texas, and how many orphans are there waiting to be adopted in Texas right now? What does now? that have to do with you standing outside the sign telling because the church to repent? We, we have thirty thousand Christian churches. You, okay, you don't even have and a church have to repent. Orphans. To. What's we your name orphans. of your church in Little Elm that I can go and talk to the pastor? Is the church a building? No, absolutely. No, you're part of the church, right? Right. I'm part of the church. Right. Okay, so you can talk to me. But are you not accountable according to the New Testament? Uh, yes, to, to, I'm accountable. Then who are you to accountable to besides in Larry our, Elder? In our in our fellowship. Besides Elder Larry here, who are you accountable to? I, I'm accountable to Matt. Okay. Who's who's in charge? Is is Larry accountable Christ to you? Christ is in charge. Christ you, is our intercessory. We Christ follow here? Christ. We have the no, spirit. We, of, the we have the spirit of Christ. We follow the scriptures. We follow the scripture too. No, no, you don't. Yeah, you, we do. No, you don't. You what, know who you tell follow? us where the sin is. You follow Larry Elder here. No, I don't follow you him. Follow I follow Larry Jesus Elder, Christ. The, 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 I don't follow the, men. The, I follow Jesus Christ in the and the church, spirit of God. Everybody in this building agrees with this sign. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Oh, then why? Man. Then why are there thirteen thousand kids right now in foster care waiting to be adopted? Because do you believe you still carry a body of sin? Look how many Christians we have. Yes. Answer the yes. question. Yes. Do you believe yes. you're in? A, do you yes. believe? Okay. Do you lie? Yes. Do you still lie? Yes. Well, how can you say that? You've repented. No. So yeah. why is that different than somebody I else? I repent here? when I lie. Okay. Very I'll good. I'll repent. So, so, so anybody in this church, how do you practice James one twenty seven? Anybody who in this church body right here mm -hmm. that would get an abortion, if they're a member of this church, they would be required to repent. Okay. 
So then do you understand, I'm not do saying, these kids I'm understand that this church is vehemently against this? I'm Texas right to life, are you? <laughs> Absolutely not. That's a pro-life organization. You regulate when, where, and how abortion happens. You guys Preach oppose man. abolition. Oh, you oppose, let's move down here a little bit. So. abolition? Texas right for life. They're no. against, no, they've never put forward any bill to make abortion illegal, ever. They oppose it. Okay. There's a bill right that, now in that Austin, is, that, in Texas. That propaganda okay. is unbelievable. No, it's now, totally true. Now, look, do you, do you understand why don't you that look? These kids, why don't you look? No, I, you're a be, coward. Because you're you just want to come out here and talk. You don't want to discuss because anything. I know you. I then know you your come face, out? and I know you're not, you're not accountable to anybody. That's not true. You say Larry Elder. True. Who's where's where's where did he get his seminary degree? Is it a seminary degree that we have to have so to be words, an elder? So in other words, you don't have any qualifications. No. Look, he's what got a seminary degree. He's got a seminary degree. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. Well, the, well, then yippity doo da. So anybody what, who so that doesn't matter. Himself, are How you many accountable in, to Scripture? What's that? Are you accountable to Scripture? Yes. yes. Are, are you are to the New Testament Church? Yes. Are you familiar yes. with ordaining de deacons and elders and pastors? I don't, I don't look, man. Oh, I know all that crazy New look, Testament look. stuff. Throw it out. It doesn't mean anything. No, it, it does. It means everything. Okay, we are to follow. It means everything so I have elders. I have elders. What? What's a deacon? All right. Deacon? It's not a position that gets bestowed on someone. It's a person who serves others. So when so, when Paul says to appoint deacons, that's not a bet. That's not bestowing. It's it's not a position. Does it's Paul a, say it's, to appoint deacons? Yeah. Yeah, he, he tells people to go out That's and not, get people who serve. No, it doesn't. Okay, he's yeah. talking to a point. It's not deacons. a point authority. Yes, it's not it authority. What it is is service. I, I hope this it's is point being of recorded service. because you're it saying is. that an elder is not an authoritative position. It's not a Lord position. It's a servant it's not position. A, what position. A Lord position. Who's who? That's not even New Testament. Verbiage. Right. What are you right. talking about? So they're not leaders in the fact that they tell people what to do. They're leaders in the fact that they serve people. No, that's not true. It is true. Brother, what's a your leader name? is someone who's what's your served. Name? Todd Bullis, what's your name? Todd, I'm Doug. Hey, Doug. Will you okay. please just take this? There, there's no way. I know you. That's why I you came don't out to talk know to you. me. I do know you. So do you came know, out and talked to me because you know Emilio you know Ramos. Me. Do you yeah. know? Do you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah. Okay then. Right. So He's he, a little pope. He's a little pope. Yeah, but see, that's yeah. That, that, right. I'm glad you agree with me. That's called. Is he a little pope? That's against the man. You would call me a little pope. Is he? I'm asking you if he's a little pope. You said yeah already, but I'm wondering. you think he's a little pope? Is more opposed to the papacy and and the and the Catholic Church. What are you talking about? He says if. The church you know, is not your mother, then God is not your father. Do you believe that? I don't know. I don't believe a word you say in the context. No, those of are his words. Saying. Your words. Those are, are his words. Your words are that the elder is not authoritative in the church. I didn't say that. We were talking about deacons. We were talking about deacons. Who's the authority in your church? Jesus Christ. Okay, so then you answer to no man. No, in that's the not church true. Because that's if you true. answer to a man, you call that a pope. I don't follow men. Okay, so if if an elder or someone so when, who pastors so, so if, if someone who pastors comes to me and says hey do you Todd, believe look, in local church membership do you believe that's an i believe term? that we are in local fellowship membership we have local that members we are members in the local anybody, church including a catholic a mormon and a jehovah's witness no a protestant no anybody can they're say, not members of the local church Jesus, so i'm in your church no, and i'm accountable no, to nobody no well, no I don't, i'm not your, saying that at all who's your elders and who's your pastor i already told you who no, my you elders didn't, are you didn't you didn't give me a specific building you gave me a town in texas little elm no what's the, the name bride of, of christ is not a building it's not a name what's of your cross ridge or Stonebriar Church, or you, or you, need to you be know, accountable to somebody. I am accountable. No, I'm accountable to Jesus Christ and if, the Spirit if, of God, if you're and I'm accountable to Larry, and I'm accountable if, to Matt. If you're and we have two master's do degrees you know many, in. Do you, do you know how many? There's like 350,000 kids being slaughtered every day in this country. Right. Okay. What are you and doing you know about what? it? What are you doing about what, it? What I'm Texas doing, Right to Life. You regulate it. That's what you do. No, wait, you regulate it. I don't sit on the board of directors of Texas Right to Life. You support them. Support people who oppose abortion. Here's the other thing. Don't you support people that regulate it when we and how I pray you're a coward you don't even church. take the paper that's you, the second you, ad hominem do you know ad look, hominem you're means? a coward man yeah you I do. said that he's here, a little here. pope and yeah. I'm a coward you agreed he don't was a little pope. argue with somebody by calling him names I just want you to know that, that. you're a coward you, I'm trying to change my you, tactic because all you want to do is talk you don't want to look but, at any so of the you information want to go from an argument look, tactic to, a, to an ad hominem tactic because you, what you're saying is is you know me so there's no reason for to hear no, me no I said I know your literature 
You ha have you looked at it? I know what you say about the local church. Have you looked at it? Or do you do you? Am, so you don't I know it. So you're a liar too. Okay. You're lying. You said you know what it you says. You told me you're a liar. liar. You told me you were a liar. Is I, this I've is told lies. You've told. If we record look, this, you can back this up. You're lying you to me see, right now. You need to repent. You don't you, know what's in here. Did you did you not say you were a liar? Yeah, I've told lies. Okay, you only then. have to tell one okay, lie so to be then, a liar. Okay, then there you go. So are, you're lying to me right now. Are you a liar? Okay, so then your argument falls into nothing. You're lying to me right now because you said you know my literature and what it says. I know about your organization. You I haven't even seen it. Enough about oh, it. You've heard. That, That's yes, what they said about Jesus Christ. Yeah. Those guys, know, that, the apostles, that went around to, from town to town, causing problems. I don't need to go to problems. a Catholic church to go know what they believe. You call anybody who goes in here a little pope, like I didn't Amelia say Ramos, that. I didn't you, say that. I didn't say people are going here a little you pope. Do you, do you believe in the authority that. of elders over the over the over the church, local church? I I believe in. Uh, service leaders, not Lord leaders. Does that mean that if an elder admonishes somebody in their pastor to do something, that they should do that? Amen. Come on. As long as it lines up with the Word of God. Okay, then. So, do you believe that you should belong to the local church? I do belong to the local Who's church. Who's your pastor? Who's your pastor? We have a home What's fellowship. His name? What's All right. His name? We pastor. So you have no pastor. Uh, you don't have you to are have. Not, he, you do not have to have someone of the designated title, a 501c3 corporation like you do, to be part of the local church. Does that mean that if someone's designated that, if in all other in all other respects, does does the scripture prohibit you from joining with a 501c3? Well, the scripture is pretty clear. You should not do evil so good may come. A 501c3 you, is evil oh, and wicked. Please and is get a contract. This on it's a corporation. You should not do evil so that good may come. Right. That's that's a, that's a profound. I mean, I can say that about anything. Have you read and your 501c3 nowhere. contract? Your have corporation? You? Yes. Have you? Yes. Well, yes. then you have no life. If you've read a 501c3 contract... Wait a minute. It's a contract, contract that your church agrees you have, to. If you have a 501c3 contract and, and you've read that contract and you don't know that an elder should be an authority over you, then your your whole You give your authority up are, when you are, sign are a 501c3. Completely, completely switched around. Seriously, man, you haven't even you, read it. You haven't even read the 501c3, and no, you're part of it. No. You're part of it. Who has read the 501c3 contract? A, a man that wants to follow God instead of man. <laughs> that's, that's a man's contract, not a God's contract. Right, why are you entering into a man's contract Who? that says evil and wicked things that does not allow you to actually fully be a Christian and be obedient to the Word of God? So then I'm not a Christian. I, I don't fully. know if you're a Christian not or not. Fully. I would have to look at your fruit. Not fully. I would have to look at your fruit. Well, well right now, I actually don't think you're you a Christian. Call me a liar, it, it, well, you did, lied. Did you said you, you know what's in Yeah, you a are a coward? liar. Yeah, yeah, both. Okay, are you? Both. Are you? I, I'm definitely a liar. I'm not oh, a coward. Okay, then. So then not, I'm guess, not a coward. So then are you a Christian? Yes, I'm a Christian. Are you a liar? Yeah. Okay, then. But I don't know if you're a Christian or not. I don't know your fruit. How do you practice James 127? But see, what you're How doing is taking this. How do you practice true and undefiled religion see, before what, God? what you're doing is saying this. Because I have sin in my life, right? No, I'm saying unrepented you're sin. Saying, you're saying, unrepented sin. You're saying if, if someone who goes out and gets an abortion. If you have unrepented and sin. And they repent like they would at this church. Because this, this church is adamantly opposed to abortion. How? <laughs> how? Yeah, how? Because what do they do they to help me? Do they go down to that? Of God. That's how. Oh, that, that doesn't mean anything no, to you. It doesn't it mean anything. Us. It doesn't because, mean anything because, if because they don't the follow up with action. Because your authority isn't scripture. No, because they don't your follow it up with action. Is some ethereal world of, you know, like dominion. All the Church of Jesus Christ taking dominion from man away from man and giving dominion back to God. Do you think That's this church do. right here? Do you think this church right here takes dominion away from God? Yeah, and give they, it they signed a contract, a 501c3, and became a corporation, the, uh, a legal entity governed by the state. All right, that says they cannot talk about you, politics. You sign contracts probably every year. Not like that. No, do you not sign like one a house? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Didn't you say your church was in your house? Yeah. Okay then. <laughs> Seriously? You signed a contract for your house and yeah. you're and my your house, house my your house church. contract doesn't say that I can't talk about politics, that I can't follow you, um, that I can't um, tell people who to vote for, what's right oh, and what's oh, wrong oh, about what's going on in our account, economy. Again, I got ADD. I don't want to disrespect you. Uh, 501C3. No, no, no. Your name again. Todd Willis. Todd. Okay. Yeah. Todd. 
You are being disrespectful, by the way. Well, we, we, I Very think we both are because we're ticked off at each other. No, I'm not and ticked off at you. I'm just asking you to take this you and look at it later. Ticked off at me. You, no, you, you no. absolutely are. You, I just have to talk over you, you because you, mean, you don't listen. You, but you call me a liar. And you a are a liar. You said so, you know what's in my literature. Because you keep contradicting And then you said you read it you and you're you lying. You are not mad at me, but mm -hmm. you call me a liar and a coward. Well, that's what do you do to people have to be mad I'm not, I don't have to be mad at you to say you're a liar, okay? Or a coward. You don't? No, I don't have to be mad those at you. Those are ad hominem arguments. Those are, those are completely mindless arguments. No, they're arguments. not. When you tell me you've read my material and you haven't, you're lying. No, I didn't. And you're unrepentant. I, no, yeah, you I, say you know what's no, in my I material. I, I know what's in your material. And I know I know what you stand for. And, and that's what I'm saying. Know. I you know, know that There's you nothing still, but gospel. There's time, nothing but scripture in here. I know that to this time, you have not been able to tell me who your pastor is. That's because I nobody. I already told you. I already told you. You guys you. are a fringe group. You guys are a corporation. No. You're a corporation. You what is a 501c3? A what is a 501c3? Did it's a corporation. Did you sign a contract with the government for your house? Yeah, but my contract for my house doesn't say that I cannot talk about politics. You and think this church, you think we're not allowed to talk politics in yeah, there. You signed a 501c3. Now, it, you, you can't tell people no, who no, you can but, vote for. But what you're doing, don't you understand the difference what you're doing? You're generalizing. To I'm make being a point. specific. No, let me don't <laughs> you, 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 let me tell you. Let me make my point here. Okay, uh, you're saying we're not allowed to talk politics. Right. Okay. Now, what do you mean by that? We're not allowed to advocate for certain political uh, candidates. Is right. that what you mean? I mean? You can't do that. Well, why would we want to? Well, who's, because we're supposed to have dominion of this land. Okay. So, all right. Who's, so who's, we're supposed to so make godly laws. Who's laws. Your so who's your candidate? Well. Larry would be my candidate okay, for governor. Okay, there you go. Point your camera at Larry and tell and, and see how many voters Larry would get. Well, I think twenty five thousand last time, Larry. Is that right? Well, that's yeah. not bad, but unfortunately, that's about almost none. Oh, is it? Yeah. What percentage was it that I got? You got two hundred twenty-five thousand votes, according to you. According yeah, I to you. To look on the Secretary of State's website. How many? How, what percentage was that? Okay, so what I'm saying is, <laughs> what have you done to further further your cause? Do you, you do you think this is furthering this? I, I, I have yeah. people that. I, I have kids over to my house all the time that don't have parents, that don't have uh, daddies, some of them. I, I help out folks that... So that, you're a good guy, Larry. Thank you. But then, but, then, but then you come down and you protest, and this is a protest. Everybody except for you guys would call I know, they, a protest. They said Jeremiah, when he stood out in front of the have temple, was protesting the so, temple. So, so then what you're doing is you're protesting the local body of Christ, uh -huh. right? Uh, no, a corporation. In order, in order to... Corporation. So this isn't the local body. I don't think so, really. I, there might be some saved in here. But okay. I think I think when Christ actually comes again, oh, that, the you, narrow, that the narrow, that the road sure is, is narrow, record. the Make gates, sure the gates are, are church, narrow. What church in the community of Frisco, in your opinion, is considered the local body that's outside of ACA? I don't I don't look at Come churches. On. I, right, I would say it. none of them are. None but, of them are. But there are followers don't, of Jesus Christ that are part that of the bride of don't Christ. Edit that out, Todd. Yeah, the part of there none are people. Of Frisco, right. None of Frisco. None of Frisco. Body, none of Texas. Only ACA. None of Texas. All right. There All right. You go. I don't that, think that I don't should, think any of the 501 C3s are that actually the bride out. of Christ. They yeah. are a corporation. That, that's just spelled out. You don't okay. believe that anybody is part of the local body of Christ if they belong to, to a, a church. 501 C3. Wow. And yeah. so in other but, words, in but other there words, will be people who are saved. Sin, there are right? no, so but there if, are so people. So in other words, wait, you, will you let me finish one second? No, because why, what you've done why? is because why? Because why do you only let me say part of a statement but not the whole thing? Because you keep equivocating. No, you, I'm not. Yes, you do. No, I'm you not. said that we can't discuss politics in here. Right. That, that's not true. Well, read your 501c3. You haven't read it. No, but you even said you haven't read it. How do you know? But what I'm saying is this: you said we weren't allowed to talk politics in there, did you not? Right. Okay, we cool. do. Right. So you're breaking your contract. Well, I don't know what we're breaking. Well, do stop we being politics? ignorant and read your 501c3. All you have to do is read it. It's, it's not that big. It's, it sounds to me like you're just you're just bound by only what you say. No, I'm bound by trying to defend the 13,000 kids right now in foster care that are waiting to be adopted, but nobody wants them other than the gays and lesbians. But if that's okay? all you, if, all right? if and that's then, all you were and bound then, by, that would be great because we would stand with you, but it's not. You're no, against no. the local body. No, I'm not. It, I'm long, not against the local body. You did too. You I'm said part of the any, local you body. Said nobody in this or all of Frisco. No, I didn't say that. Is not a part I said, of the local body. no, I didn't. There are people within 501c3s that I believe are saved. That's okay. not what you said. No, because you wouldn't let me finish. I kept saying, let me finish. All right. So All right. Finish. Okay, so here's what I think. 501c3s are not the local body of Christ. They're a corporation. Oh. But there are few people oh, okay. that are saved that go to 501c3s. What do they what have to they, do? They have to cast off their 501c3 contract and follow the word and, of God. And, and still belong to the local body. How do we do that? Well, you, you just 
have your big local board meeting in your church and say we're gonna off the 501c3 and we're not gonna adhere to it okay we're gonna get rid of it and we're just gonna do what the Bible says that's what they need to which do which is you which has no, no it's not me which, which is you it's saying me. that you can't have a pastor no and, and a they can have a pastor and, and elders they can i believe in authority. pastors i believe in pastors no, you don't. we have people a that pastor a position of authority a pastor is someone who pastors somebody okay you don't think a pastor has authority yeah he has authority yeah over who to serve his congregation to serve the people Do you not he's not a lord okay, position it's not a lord you, position you're redefining terms no i'm not yeah you are you're like no, you're I'm like not. hillary clinton saying that the planned parenthood provides health care to women you know what when you say somebody has authority and what's their authority i say what's their authority and your answer is their authority is to serve their that's authority, not what authority is their authority is to be obedient to the word of god and help we all the have people that, that what's are a serving specific authority in the church i just told you no you didn't you said it was to serve that's yeah. not authority yeah it's to pastor it's to help people oh do their do their, do their do their do their ministry talk? whatever their ministry around is. to the authority Part of this conversation they do not the have authority edit to, out no of your no, YouTube not, video. no not they do then, not have the authority to lord over people and they being, don't have authority they don't have don't tell me about right. serving don't right. tell me about help. i already told you tell what authority they have what authority do they have i already told you what is it serve help right well that's right. not authority to, to um to shepherd okay oh, shepherd? it's they, not it's not so it's not where do they get to tell their church members that they're out of line when they do something wrong they're admonishing them. They get, if someone's in sin, it doesn't. You don't have to have a pastor. You could do it. I could do it. Anybody could do it. They can say, "Hey, look, I'm coming to you, like the Bible says, because I believe you're in sin." And if they don't agree, and, and no, then no, you no, go with them no, with more. more, and then they have way more than that, Todd. They've got way more than that. The, the pastor and an elder is held to a higher standard. That you should know that. If you believe in pastors, what you're saying is that anybody in the local body. I'm not saying they shouldn't be, be held pastor. to a higher standard. You don't think pastors should be held to a higher no, standard? No, they do. They are held to a higher standard, but they're not. They're not. By whom? By the word of God. It tells them. Oh, why does it tell them that? Because they are leading. They are the shepherds. They the shepherds, are helping. There you, go. you don't want somebody who's no, in here, sin. I think I, I, I see what you're saying about the 501c3, and, I, and I'll tell you what. No, no body of Christ is is perfect. I, I know I, that. I, including ACA, including you. You're a liar, and you're part of ACA, right? I know on my finger. So here's the thing, thank you. Here's the thing. And and until we get out of this this body of sin, we're gonna have we're gonna have people who are sinful in the body. I, I agree. Okay. Hundred percent. So I you're agree. not gonna be able to look at somebody any given time in their life and say yes, that person saved. No, that's not. If you belong to a five hundred one c three, if you hold that contract or whatever, do you know, including myself, that doesn't know the contract language of five hundred one c three? Do you know how many of of Pastor Chuck's people do not? know what the language is of that 501c3 most and of them. that it's damnable heresy according to you right okay yeah, then most See, all of them that is such an extreme extreme position why i'll tell you why because, because they should look at it you should like i i, I bet you'll actually I, look I, at I it i will look at that okay I, thank I, you I, I, I would look at that thank you before i would look at that what is so wrong with this this talks about <laughs> that we demand because you dominion of our land it's everything man it's so important it's i believe in the authority of jesus christ there's only one intermediary between so does the man Jehovah's and god Witnesses, so do the Jehovah's you Witnesses. believe so there's only Mormons. one intermediary between god and man so does that. jesus so, christ so so do the so do the mormons do you believe it so do the mormons i'm asking you if you believe it okay. do i believe of course that's what scripture okay. says well then but then, that is but it also says other things about the establishment of right. the local church until christ comes because guess what <laughs> until, until we're glorified with christ yeah we're all going to continue to carry have, sin in let's our say life. let's say there's sixty thousand pastors in texas okay all right that are following god that are doing what he said christian ones yeah. christian ones okay mm -hmm. why are there thirteen thousand kids in foster care like, how do you practice true and undefiled religion in the state of Texas when this, we do got you, these huge buildings, but you, we got 13,000 okay. kids that I, are waiting to be adopted, but nobody wants them because they're not babies. Yeah, and so we, we, so we all are with you in terms of How are you with me? That that, how have, you, to, have you adopted I'll kids? You have I, if I haven't I adopted have kids, does that mean I'm not with you? No, but it means that you're not part of the solution. You need to actually like either adopt kids if you can, all right, now some people can't, right? But it's not a calling. Okay, if there's what else orphans, do I have to do to get your approval besides adopt kids? Maybe help you, adopt. You have to. Okay. You have to be part of 
Christians taking dominion over the land. Like that, we we should you not believe that you believe that Christians can take dominion so. over the land yeah. in this fallen world. That, that, yes. Then you're not familiar with the scripture. No, that's not true. Until we are called until to, until to have dominion. We're supposed kingdom, to. We're no, not no. gonna. We're gonna look, establish. Look at all these people. I hate to bless look at your all these bubble. People. Why can't we do these thirteen thousand kids? You know why? Because football is more important. All right, sports. Our children sports are more important than the kids sitting in orphanages. Do you, your kids not play sports? I, I've adopted six kids from foster care. Didn't ask how many okay. adopted. So, and, yeah. and, and by the way, but thank they you can for play doing that. They can thank play you for sports. doing that. My sister has adopted many kids, right. not adopted, but fostered many children. Right. And we should save them from the foster care system because the foster care system is exceedingly Fine. evil and wicked. Agreed. Fine. I mean, it is so Fine. wicked. Fine, but that's the second step. And what I'm saying is this. We can agree that abortion is a travesty. Abortion is a blight on our land. And we can make abortion it illegal. Abortion is horrible inside the church and outside the we church. We can make it illegal. Of abortions are you and I church. could do that. We could go in and make people realize and see what is going on. You, There's enough Christians you think in town. we can just have a utopia? No, by, I'm not saying by, utopia. By, by removing I'm saying that we can have authority. Of no, the local you body. don't have to. You don't have to remove yourself from Just the authority the of the local body. But you should toss off the 501c3 because it is making a contract with the state, saying that you to guys. Allow abortions. No, it allows abortions because you guys can't actually say, "Hey, we need to go out there and make we're abortion not a illegal." Organization, Todd. You are a political organization. No, 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 no. Do you know that we're primarily. a representative government? So that's your spiel. You're a politician. No, I'm not a politician. I'm not running for anything. You I'm a follower of Christ. You think the politics are going to save this earth? No, I'm saying Christians need to adopt kids, and they're not doing it. Why are they not doing it? They if you went to foster, if, why are they doing it? Do you mean every Christian is not adopting? You know, I'm not meaning every Christian is well, not then adopting. Why do you say stuff like what that? I'm, because My, you know, because okay. you have to understand the spirit many, of what I'm saying. Who do you we think have, adopts more many, kids than any other group? I'm sure it's evangelical. Right now, you know who's adopting the the uh, the foster kids, the gays and lesbians. Like Some if you are. said, no, Some that's who's doing it. Not. That's who you're Some sitting are, there but with. But if you raise your kids to believe, oh, that that's thank you for is, coming to talk with us. I appreciate. Yep, you got it. If you if you make it sound as if only, um, you know, homosexual are, are doing that, then you're misrepresenting the position just so that you can stand out here and feel better about yourself by yelling at the people who, who agree with you about this stuff. No, first of all, they don't only, agree they with don't, me. Yeah, because they don't agree because with me because like, they're not doing it. Yeah. All right? They're not doing it. You, if you just think this you're doing church... it by, by nominating Larry... For, for president or for, for what I'm doing is I'm not voting for someone who's evil and wicked like Trump so good may come I never pick the lesser of two evils you know someday we'll stand before God and he'll say you actually gave your vote to so, this so evil wicked man could you possibly vote for well uh, if they're not in the ACA what politicians you basically threw you basically voted for Hillary is what you did no no I didn't if you didn't vote for Trump yeah then yeah. you vote for Hillary if you didn't uh, vote for Trump it, because he's that's evil a very, and wicked that's a, and you know yeah. what believe me I'm not a fan of Trump, but I'm going to vote for him nine times out of ten, and I'll tell you why. Because the other side of it is a true enemy. Trump is not of, an enemy of God. Of the church. Trump is not an enemy of God. I mean, here's a guy that owned strip clubs while he's going running for president of the United States. I, he's not an enemy of God. I, I didn't say he's. He's. I didn't say he's a Christian. So you're saying I'm picking no. the lesser enemy of God. And yes. I feel good about that. No, that's an evil, wicked. That's I'm going to do evil so good may come, so less evil will come. I'm going to do evil so less evil will come. All I'm saying so is, what are you going to do in this life? I'm, until until I'm going to I'm going to honor God in everything and, and, and I do. Anytime a politician has has done something evil, you're going to strike that person from no, your no, from your list no. of choices. If they're following Christ and they repent when they sin, you, your vote is a vote right. for Hillary. Uh, your no vote. Not, yeah, look, so, if you choose not to decide, you still what? All right, so I think so, that was sticks. I'm sure you're a sticks fan, Todd. I can tell. A what? Sticks. What sticks? Oh, you know sticks. The Come band? On. Come on, yeah, the band. Yeah. Uh, they, they're all right. You're 50. You're, I had one eight track tape for them. I you're think. 47 to 50 years old. You know, yeah, okay. 55, 55. Okay, okay then. Yeah. So you know who sticks is? Um, I'm not even sure that's who sang that word. <laughs> well, I'll be 55 in December. <laughs> okay, but here's the thing. This is not a political organization. Okay, that doesn't mean that we're not allowed to elect politics. It just means that we're not going to endorse politicians, right? And you don't want a church, do you, that endorses politicians? We want a church that stands up. Like right now, we could actually make our governor right now mm -hmm. could make abortion illegal in Texas right now, easily, just like just like a snap oh, of the is, finger. I, I wish you were right. No, it is so because of the state constitution says that we're not allowed to murder. 
All right. Same with our Constitution of the United States says we're not allowed to. Like most, a lot, lot of states right now are opposing the government over the marijuana laws. They're saying, okay, we're making a, a marijuana legal. I don't care what the federal said. The federal government. We could do the same thing over murder. Sixty thousand babies every single year are being murdered here in Texas. So, so the governor. The millennia and, of history, uh -huh. where good men have stood up to oppose bad things, right. slavery. Right. Right. Yeah. Garrett William Lake Garrison. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, all of their efforts, all of their bloodshed, and yet we still don't live in a utopian society. Yeah, but, but black men are now free and slaves. Like, we used to be able to buy a black woman, rape her, cut her head off if we wanted to, and it was okay. But what I'm saying is... Even in the church. It, in America, in America, what, what, I'm, what did you just say? Even in the church, the well, churches no, no, did not minute. oppose... Say that again, Todd, so even, that's on the record. Even in churches, it was okay to have slavery. It was okay to have slaves. Rape her in church? No, no, they didn't do that that's in what church. Just said. No, even in the churches, it was okay. To All right. Do what? That this was happening in our societies. How, how do I make Even sure in that Texas. those views are not being edited out of our conversation? Uh, I'll post it. Really? I'll post it. Yeah. You know, Texas was a slave that right state. Right there. Your statement Texas. right there would get rid of ACA followers. I don't even know what ACA is. It's isn't it that? Isn't that your group? Abolish human abortion is a or phrase. AHA, I mean, there's AHA. no ACA there's no five oh one C three. There's no organization. Fine, fine, but what you right. just said would take away all of AHA Look, support. Was Texas and Texas churches and Texas governors and politicians for the ending of slavery or to keep slavery? I'm sure in, some were and some weren't, Todd. It's not it, it, Texas put their young men to fight to keep slavery. Yeah. All right. The uh, the churches were silent on it. They yeah, said, you know what they said? They said we don't want to get involved in this. All right. But are you gonna characterize the people of a state? Okay. By, do we do that with communism by, with China? Do you characterize the people, all the people of state, based on what their government does? How would you like it if the people? The government represents you? the people. So then, how would you like your government characterizing you right now? It does. The government slaughters slaughters all these people. Right. So you're in the state of Texas. Right. That doesn't mean you're affiliated with. No, it, it does. God will wipe me out as well as you and everybody else in so the United therefore, States. So Romans eight is is not correct when it says there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ well, Jesus. Well, we'll go to heaven. All right, I'll go to heaven. I won't be condemned. All right, but I live in a state that kills I babies. Well I will done. get judged. I, I will burn. All right, literally. No, you won't. Yeah, I will. Not if you're in Christ, you won't. My body will burn if, like, North Korea nukes us. All right, <laughs> judgment will come to the land, and my kids will suffer. You think uh, this whole country is going to go unscathed? All right, the Christians will die with the non-Christians. Are you so worried about your flesh? I'm not worried about it at all. You sound like it. No, I'm just saying that we will um, be part of the judgment by, of this by land. protesting the local body of no, Christ? No, we're just trying to wake them up. Say, look at your 501c3. Look, why aren't we adopting That's these kids? That's not going to solve anything, the 501c3. What is the fruit of this land? You, what all you're right? saying, so if I could sum up, and you correct me if I'm wrong, because I do not want to mischaracterize your point. Okay. What you're saying is, if the local body will abolish the 501c3 contract and therefore that would empower them to speak political messages and endorse political candidates like, like Larry in order to get rid of the, the ills of society. Is that, is that the method that you're going after? No, no. I'm calling men to be obedient to the word of God. They no, should toss not. off their 501c3. No, you're, you're calling everybody in here except for a few people. Not, not oh, this is a country club. This is a country club, all right? That's what all these what big, means. huge people go to socialize, have their put their kids in a little room, let them play and have fun. So, so when all right, we, these so, are country so when clubs. We, so when we served in South Dallas, right, uh -huh. Uh -huh. preaching the gospel to the homeless and mm -hmm. handing out food and clothes to the homeless in South Dallas, is that part of the country club? Because we do that. Yeah, that's good. That's good of, works. Okay. That's good works. Oh, good. Okay. And what about India? What about when we send missionaries uh, to India? The good stuff about, that you do. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't stop doing those. Okay. So but, just keep doing more. But yeah, let's let's go ahead and save the <laughs> Don't orphans. You understand the fruit let's make abortion illegal. I, you Todd, take care of the, the get, little things. It's so easy. On his earth. It's so easy to feed and, homeless people, but adopting kids that are broken and hurt and messed up. It's, they sit and rot in foster care. And how, and how many how many how many of our members have foster children? I, I don't know, but there's thirteen well, thousand. How can you be out here? There's acting over like, sixty thousand like pastors. We're against it. They're, they're, what is this church supposed to repent of? It needs to repent of living in a land where the fruit is 
How am I supposed unopposed to, orphans? So you're not going to be in orphans the world. that aren't. You're, you're, Why you're, do you ask a question and not let me finish it? Sorry. Okay, so they need to repent of not taking care of these orphans that need to be taken care of. They could be taken care of like that. They could what be if, adopted like that. And for living in a land where abortion is legal and 60,000 kids. I mean, you know, we're 10 times worse than Hitler, America. 10 times worse. We've killed over 62 million kids. And, and it doesn't, it's basically unopposed. You go to the clinics, you, you go to schools. Let me, let me say something real quick because uh -huh. I, I, don't, I, I don't totally disagree with what you're saying. It's, it's infuriating that it's legal. To murder, you're right. Six million Jews, sixty million babies. You're right. We're on the same. We're on the same. But well, nobody does we're anything about like it. That. Okay, that's not true. That nobody does anything. It like is that. true. It is. It, now, if you want to be a so stickler, to say that nobody does anything. If you're a stickler like that, to say like, oh no, do you one think this point, standing out here in front of this church is doing something about it? Yeah, people take the literature. People no, call us. You people tell us. Abortion facility, people tell huh? us at churches. All right, they they email us and say, I'm not going to have an abortion now. I had no idea. You know, I never heard how bad abortion was. I never seen it, and I grew up in the church. That's what Christians tell us. You know, we also, when we're out in front of the right, abortion wait, clinic, wait, wait, people me, tell us, my pastor says that, it's okay. Let me take that claim apart, okay? Anybody that goes to this church, and 90%, if not more, of the community churches in Frisco, okay, know exactly what the horror of abortion is. It's, they don't have the abortion because they didn't know how bad it was. They have yeah, the abortion. It's less, they more and that, more true all the time. That, but but they have the abortion. If they do you know anybody that's had abortion? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Because if you don't know anybody, then you're really far removed from it. So if you do, that person they knew the horror of it. They knew that they were killing their child, but they did it anyway because they were scared. That's what criminals do. They 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 they're, they're, they're scared and they want to take the short way out of something. Well, and because they're weak, just like when you lie. That's a pretty general lie, statement. That's not true with everybody, of right? Of course not. Of course okay. not. All We've right. got to generalize here. We can't right. talk. And I generalize too when right. I talk about five hundred one c threes and church said, and people and, and stuff that, like you that. You said America is as gu gu guilty as Hitler, right? And that's not. That's a generalization. Okay. Right. The left is as guilty as Hitler. So is the right. You no, know who makes no, all these pro life not. bills? No. All the Republicans. Do you know that Roe v. Wade? All the judges that sat on Roe v. Wade. Republican means conservative, Todd. L let me finish this one statement, okay? You just said. Something. All right. So, every single judge except for one that was put in by pro-life presidents by the pro-life movement, those judges were the ones that made Roe v. Wade legal, okay? They were the ones. The only one that voted against it was a Democrat. Now, I'm not a Democrat, okay? The only one that voted against Roe v. Wade was a Democrat. All the others were put in by pro-life, right to life groups and organizations presidents that were republican and pro-life i'm sure that i could refute that really really easily no you can't but you because can't. it's going to be recorded and it's going to be posted to youtube or whatever I'll, if you know what if, if you contact if me is, i'll give you my cell phone number i'll show you the video audio, of it what you just said can be taken apart i'm sure but no i, I can't but i can't do it here and right well, now how could you be sure legend. how could you how could you be sure of that because what you just said is that the people that put roe v into uh, roe v wade into place the supreme court were justices republicans they were the Republican um, presidents who were supported by the pro-life movement put these presidents in position judges. and they elected the judges, all of them except for one, were put in there by pro-life Republican presidents were the ones that voted for Roe v. Wade. And then years later when it came back up for review, it was still the pro-life. So the judges that voted in Roe, Roe v. Wade, Wade on the state level or the federal? Federal. Or our Republican appointees. We're all but one. All of them but one. The one? Uh, I'm not sure, but he was okay, a Democrat. He was a Democrat. But I, if I, I'll, t I'll shoot you the email, and you can see a lawyer okay. showing and talking well, here, about I gotta, this. I got to keep bringing it back to this, though. Those politics, we can agree on those politics. We agree. We agree on the politics. What we don't agree on is the fact that if you don't have. If you don't belong to a local body of church, oh, then then, here's then all this evil's okay. No, then you don't have a pastor. You, you don't think anybody pastors me? No, because here's why: a pastor is not someone who simply pastors someone. A pastor is held to account by the scriptures. Right, they have a higher over, standard. But right, they so do teachers. The local body. That's why. That's why the apostles went and they appointed elders. Because, you know why? Because they don't want people to go around and say, you know, follow Jesus. As long as you're a Jesus follower, then you're in the body of Christ. That's not why they did it. 
They did it because they serve the local body. They yeah, help the lot of body. They lift up the, they right. teach, so they we, shepherd. So, so now we're going around again. So right. Like, all right. All right. Please, can I ask you one, please, we, we please just look at it. No. Don't be so stiff neck, sir. Please.